A move to the middle. The results from two high-profile elections have national implications. In New Jersey, Republican Governor Chris Christie won a commanding re-election victory over Democrat Barbara Buono. The win gives Christie momentum as he decides whether to enter presidential politics. Meanwhile, Virginia's next governor is a longtime confidant of Bill and Hillary Clinton. Former Democratic Party chairman Terry McAuliffe defeated Republican Ken Cuccinelli. Chip Reed is in Washington. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning, Charlie and Nora. In one sense, the races in New Jersey and Virginia were a split decision, one going to the Republicans and one to the Democrats. But both races have something in common, an emphasis on compromise and reaching across the aisle. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie celebrated his resounding victory with a not-so-subtle zinger aimed at the nation's gridlocked leaders. I know that if we can do this in Trenton, New Jersey, Maybe the folks in Washington, D.C. should tune in their TVs right now, see how it's done. Christie has made no secret of the fact that he's contemplating a run for the White House in 2016, and he wanted a big re-election victory in part to show that Republicans who favor consensus over ideological purity can win, even in blue states like New Jersey. The biggest thing I've learned over the last four years about leadership is that Leadership is much less about talking than it is about listening. Christie has a mostly conservative record, but he got 32 percent of the Democratic vote, compared to just 5 percent for Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney last year in New Jersey. He also won nearly 60 percent of women and one in five African Americans. That theme of bipartisanship was echoed in Virginia by Democrat Terry McAuliffe, who squeaked out a narrow victory for governor. At a time when Washington was often broken, just think about what Virginia has been able to accomplish when we work together. McAuliffe defined his opponent, Virginia Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli, a favorite of the Tea Party, as rigid and uncompromising. Ken Cuccinelli is just way too extreme. Way too extreme. For weeks, the pollsters and pundits predicted that McAuliffe would win easily. But in the final days of the campaign, Cuccinelli tried to turn the race into a referendum on Obamacare. Although I lost, tonight you sent a message to the President of the United States that Obamacare is a failure and that you want to be in charge of your health care and not the government. A Cuccinelli's effort to tie McAuliffe to the disastrous rollout of Obamacare appears to have helped narrow the gap, but not quite enough to win. Charlie and Nora. Chip, thank you.